eel is a Morgan Hypercoaster located at SeaWorld San Antonio. Now while this has more of a Hypercoaster type layout, and that's the reason I'm calling this a Morgan Hypercoaster, um, in the height department it's not, it's only 150 feet tall, um, not 200 for that <coughs> Hypercoaster mark, but that doesn't really matter, so let's talk about the ride. So you roll out of the station, go through a little turn, climb up your lift hill, this is a Morgan coaster, so lift hill is pretty slow, and then you drop down. And as with literally every single element on this ride, you want to be in the back row on Steel Eel. Um, so yeah, you go down the first drop, you get some good air time if you sit in the back. Not too much if you sit in the front, but you pick up some good speed, and you head up a big hill. And these two larger hills are give some really unique air time. So you pop up this hill. And you, it starts out as floater airtime, like you float gently out of the seat, and then as the train crests the hill, you slam down into the seat, which is really weird. I can't think of another coaster that does that, but it's pretty awesome. And then you head up another hill, and then again, it starts out as floater airtime, but instead of like gently floating back down, you're just yanked down back into the seat, and then pop up into the mid-course brakes. This hill doesn't really have any air time on it, but you turn out of the mid-course brakes, uh, get a pretty good amount of speed back. Like the mid-course brakes, while they do slow you down, um, they're really tall, so you pick up a good amount of speed after, turn, and then go up another hill. This one doesn't really have any air time, but the end part of the ride does. Um, you go through a few bunny hills, and these are all floater air time, and it's good floater air time. Like some of the other Morgans, like Steel Force, Mamba, Wild Thing, the end bunny hills don't really do much, but on uh, Steel Eel, really good air time on those end bunny hills. And you go up one more bunny hill uh, into the brakes before you do an S bed. That last bunny hill doesn't really do much, but the ones before it all get some good air time. Steel Eel is a great ride that does not get enough credit from coaster enthusiasts. When people talk about their favorite Morgan coasters, they usually start by talking about Phantom's Revenge, and then they'll usually go to the like Cedar Fair Morgan Trio. But this is a much better ride than the Cedar Fair Morgan Trio, in my opinion. It gives airtime on almost every hill. There's a couple that don't really give airtime, but m more often than not, it does. And those hills, uh, after the first drop, those are definitely the best ones. Like, you get a really cool sensation of airtime where you're just, like, floating up and then just being slammed back into your seat. It's awesome. Definitely get the back row on this one. So for the overall score, I'm going to give Steel Eel a 7.5 out of 10. This is not a perfect roller coaster. Um, it's not as good as, like, your B&M Intimate Hyper Coasters. But for a Morgan coaster, it's really damn good. Uh... It, as far as Coaster at Sea World San Antonio, um, I haven't done Texas Stingray yet because I went before that was built, but it's, um, I'd say, second best in the park uh, at the time I went. I prefer Great White, but still a lot of fun and a ride you should definitely check out. One of the better coasters in Texas.